10 tips for earning $100,000 a year. People ask me about plumbing and say, why do you plumb? Well, number one, I love what I do, but I also make a good living at it. From 1999 forward, I've made about $100,000 a year or more. And I know other plumbers that even make more than that. So I want to give you my 10 tips to help you make $100,000 a year, no matter what trade you're in. Number one, never give up. If you give up, if you're willing to quit and not keep learning and not keep striving to do better, you're not going to get ahead. Now, I know people that just show up for it. They're just in that rut. They just, they don't love what they do. They just show up and do it over and over every day. They don't like it. They don't get excited about it. They don't want to learn new things. They don't want to learn more. They don't want to grow. Never give up. Never stop. Always try to do better. Always try to learn more. And that will help put you ahead of anybody else. Number two, watch your competitors, but don't focus on them. Here's the deal. I know what my competition is doing because I see it. I don't go in and study it. I don't search it. I don't track it down. I don't look for it, but I see it. With the analytics and the tools that I've got, I can also see my competitors are stalking me. You know what I love about that? As long as they're worried about stalking me, they're not focusing on their business. They're focusing on my business. They're focusing on what I'm doing. But the good thing is they're seeing it from behind because they are watching me move away from them. Guys, focus on what you're doing. You can see your competition, just don't focus on them. You'll spend a lot of time wasted watching what they're doing. Why try to do what they're doing? Try to do what they should be doing or what they should be doing in the future. That will help separate you from everybody else. Number three, take time to laugh. I'll tell you what, people tell me all the time, dude, you're a plumber. And I do, I laugh about it. Whenever I speak at events, one of the very first things I say is, guys, remember, I'm a plumber. I was on stopping toilets yesterday. I'll be on stopping toilets tomorrow. That's what I do. And you know what? I laugh about it. Some people may look down at me. That's fine. I don't even let it bother me. I remember a point when I did. I remembered when I would go up to girls at country bars and they're like, what do you do? It's like, well, I'm a plumber. And they're like, oh. Well, then I started saying, well, I'm in construction. Like that was a step up. But you know what? They didn't look at me like, oh, let me tell you what. Take pride in what you do and laugh about it. Because you can laugh at me all you want, but I love what I do and I make a good living at it. So remember, take time to laugh every day. There's something fun out there. There's something worth laughing at. And I promise you, it will make you feel better. Number four, focus on what you want. What is your why? What do you do this for? When you get up in the mornings, when you have to get out of bed early, what is your reason why? Where are you focused on? Because here's my deal. I know why I do what I do, and I know where I'm focused. I know where I want to be. I know where I want to head. I know what direction I want to go to. And that's what I focus on. Now, don't get me wrong. Changes come along every now and then, and it may change a little bit, but I still know where I want to be, and that's what I'm focused on. Guys, focus on where you want to end up. And if you're always moving forward, moving in that direction, you're going to do great. Number five, you can't become an expert in one day. Apprentices especially, please remember this. It takes 40 years to get 40 years worth of experience. Now, you may at 20 years have a lot of great experience, but always remember there's somebody out there with more experience than you. There's always somebody out there that was willing to learn more and do more. If you want to set yourself apart from anybody else, you're going to have to learn and grow. And that's what experience is all about. You put in the time, you put in the hours, you put in the blood, sweat, and tears, whatever it takes to learn to be better at what you do. And when I say apprentices, journeyman, this is you too. Do you want to be just a journeyman plumber? Do you want to be in the spot you're in for the rest of your career? If not, think about what you can do to learn and move ahead and grow to get more experience. Maybe it's time to change jobs. Maybe you're in that same job that you've been doing the last five years. Nothing is changing. There's no advancement. There's no chance of promotion. What are you going to do to get more experience? You may have to walk away from the comfortable spot you're in, get out of your comfort zone, and learn something new. 
Number six, and I kind of hit on this a while ago, but always focus forward. Look at where you want to go and do the things you need to do to get there. Put the things in your path that you need to knock out in order to get where you're going. If you spend the rest of your life looking backwards, you're not going to get there. I had people tell me my whole life, you'll never amount to anything. They're back there. And you know what? I don't even look back at them anymore. I don't care. I know where I want to go and I know how I'm going to go to get there. Keep focusing forward. Keep moving the direction you want to go and nobody will be able to stop you. Number seven, make decisions quickly. If you don't make a decision, that's making a decision. If you know doing something can help you move forward in your career, do better, take on a better job, take on more responsibility, whatever it is, decide to do it and then do it and do it to the best of your ability. Setting back and waiting is not going to help you at all. Sometimes setting back and waiting will let that opportunity go away. And opportunities don't just go away, they go to someone else. So make your decisions quickly. Think about it. Is it good for you or bad for you? And is it going to get you where you want to go? If it is, I think you already know your answer. Number eight, measure the things of importance. What's important? What kind of scores do you do? How much studying are you putting in? How much money do you make? What kind of benefits do you have? There are things worth looking at and measuring and keeping track of. Are you doing things right? Do you have callbacks? Do you make mistakes? Do you have to go back and fix things? Measure things of importance because if you're going to get better, you've got to understand where you need to work on. So think about what you're doing, how you do it, and keep track of it. If I've got a repair plumber that works for me and he makes one mistake a month, you know what? We can live with that. If he starts making 10 a month, I got to go to him and say, hey, wait a minute. We've got a problem here. So think about that if you were monitoring yourself like that. I can handle a mistake a month. I can handle a mistake every now and then. But if I'm making mistakes every day and I'm not thinking about it, measuring it, or trying to correct it, I'm not going to get any better. I need to keep track of what I'm trying to do and how I'm trying to do it and if it's helping me get to where I want to go. Number nine, figure out your own problems. Don't always go to other people and ask them how or why. Learn how to figure out your own problems. That's part of being in the trades. When I walk in the house and they've got a problem, I need to look at it and figure it out. I don't need to call my boss. I don't need to call another plumber. I need to be able to look at the problem and think, okay, what could have caused this? Where could this have come from? There's a lot of problems that we run into. And if I just called somebody all the time, I'd never learn to think about it and analyze the problem and see what's really going on. Instead, I just be calling people all the time. Don't be that guy that's just always calling another plumber and saying, hey, eventually that guy's going to say, you've called me four times for this. Why haven't you figured it out yet? Learn how to figure out your problems. That is what's going to make you a better person because then when you're not calling other people, they're going to understand you know what you're doing and you're going to be the guy they call to find out what to do. Number 10, never think life is going to be fair. I know that's a tough one, but guys, it's the truth. Life is what it is. Learn it. Learn to deal with it. All I can tell you here is look, people want the job you have. And I know you may not want it. I know you may not even like it. And if you don't, maybe you need to let them have it. But here's the deal. You've got the life that you've worked for, that you've chosen, that you've ended up with. Now, you can work harder to get better at what you do, and that can help put you in a whole nother situation, a whole nother tax bracket, because this is really what this is about. Are you willing to do what it takes to move up? Here's my deal. When I was making under 100000 a year, I was doing the job. I would come in. I would get it done. Don't get me wrong. I was doing it well. But come 3.30, it's time to go. I'm done. I'm out of there. I got places to go, things to see, and people to do. Maybe not quite that order, but you know what I mean. Here's the thing. What are you willing to do? Life's as fair as you let it be. But here's the thing. If life's not treating you right, it's your opportunity to change. Life gives us what we make it. We all have the same opportunity as anybody else. The other people on your job that are in a better position than you and making more money, they have taken on responsibility. They have stepped up and shown people, I'm willing to do this. I have the courage to do this and I want to do this. 
Are you putting yourselves in that position? It's not that life's unfair. It's some people just sit back and blame everybody else for everything in the world that happens. Grow up here. Step up. Take control of it and say, look, I want this to work, and I'm going to make it work, and I'm going to work hard at it to get where I want to go. Because if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. But if you're focused forward and you're always moving that direction, you'll end up where you want to be. Guys, that's my 10 tips. Here's the biggest one. Always be true to yourself and always be honest with yourself. Now, that's not in here, but here's the thing. Are you worth $100,000 a year? If you think you are, you should be able to show people that. You should be able to show people that you bring a value that other people don't bring. Guys, I've always done well with the companies I've been with, but it's because I learned things. I stepped up and did things that other people would not do. And it's not that I went out of my way to try to make bosses happy or anything. I showed them I knew what I was talking about. And when it came time for the work to be done, I showed them that I knew what I was doing. So if you have moved up or you've learned things that have helped move you ahead and helped make you more money, do me a favor. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what it was you did. Was it something you learned? Was it something you just stepped up and did? Or was it just a load you took on your shoulders and said, you know what? I'm going to do this. Sometimes the people that make more money are the ones that step up and take on the job in front of them and get it done. And somebody looks at them and says, wow, I like what they did. So what did you do? Or what are you willing to do? Guys, if you like this video, do me a favor, share it with somebody that needs to hear it. Share it with somebody that needs to hear the things that I said to help them improve their situation and where they're at. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.